Hi, I'm the Miserable Gamer and welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Um, now, I had to move along from the tramp because it just kept fucking talking over me all the time and it's so hard to do an introduction when someone's talking over you. Anyway, yes, we are back. We, um, we've managed to get to the hotel. We've completed one part of our evidence, I believe. We should really give our notebook back to, um... I need right. to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Do what you need to do. Okay, right. So let's let's take Reyes back to Ray and give him his notebook back. Yep. Yep, yep. Right. And we might as well give him the speck of dust as well if we can. Oh, he's downstairs, isn't he? Right. Uh, give notebook. To no, Rose. it is very confidential information in it. Okay. Give. Oh, my notebook! I thought I'd lost that for good. These means a lot to me. Thanks. Thanks for the dust. Brilliant. Right. Okay. What was the um? Right, so we've got circus flyer, cell phone, whiskey bottle, fingerprint book. Can we give her a copy of the map? Like I don't have enough to carry already. Ah, shut up. Right, so we've still got to find the murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon, get fingerprint Tron, get the blood report, put three reports on the arrest of Tron. So we've got to go talk to Dolores and talk to Ransom the Clown. So let's go and do that now. The street ends... Faster, man, faster. Nice. Right, okay, so we've got the hotel, the old circus. So the old circus is the next thing on the map, so let's go there. Oh. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. They really don't like this guy, do they, anymore? It's closed. It looks like a circus clown horn. Keep your panties on, I'm coming! Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. <laughs> He's so lovely, isn't he? He just want to give me a little kiss. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Ransom. Excuse me, Mr. Ransom. I need to ask you about the body by the bridge. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Never seen a man wearing makeup before? <laughs> Look, face, you better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic wet pissing his pants on my doorstep. Uh, sorry, sir. I don't know what's come over me. <laughs> Jeez, kid, what the f is wrong with you? <laughs> I understand what's wrong with him. I've got a fear of clowns, and it's... Let me, st Let me start again. <laughs> Jeez, kid. What the f*** is wrong with you? Let me just turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened at my 10th birthday. Hmm. Whatever, bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the Mansion Mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. The Mansion Mansion? What weird stuff do you know about at the Mansion? 
mansion. You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f alone. Thank <laughs> I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my f ex wife took me for everything I had. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my f creepy clown face and Paul Chant for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But no. I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the f clown. I was on the f tonight show. I'm f great. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in Chuck? My factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. <laughs> Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, pencil neck. Not like I'm going anywhere. But you're not getting inside without a warrant. Uh huh. Tickets, twenty-five cents. All right, so that's all we can do there. Let's go and talk to Dolores. It's the long. Uh, the mansion, mansion. Why am I in the friggin' bushes? Oh, another speck of dust. He's still fucking digging. Digging? Digging. Excuse me, sir, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging. Mostly holes. <laughs> then I bury them again, all neat and tidy. Yeah, he's he's fucking lost it. Digging. Better ring the doorbell. Hello, how can I help you? Federal agent. Are you kids doing drugs in here? I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. Ma! Diggin! Better ring the doorbell. I really can't talk right now. Still dealing with family issues. Maybe you can come back later. Okay then. I'll be back. Uh huh. Investigate the sewers. I've already been down the sewers. Tell me, I walked all the way out here for nothing. It's a big mansion, mansion. It's a big mansion, mansion. It is a big mansion. Digging, digging. I'm just digging. I'm digging. Digging. Digging, digging. Digging. Yeah, you're digging. <clears throat> right. Digging in the front green. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Digging in the front green with my rusty shovel. Yeah, you're just a fucking fruit loop, aren't you? All right, can we? Ah, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. oh, Digging look. in the front green with my rusty shovel. We can be all these people. Wonderful. Look at journal. Find out what happened to Dad. Practice ASCII tables. Go talk to Lenore in the library. Collect sixty-three more specks of dust. Huh.
She's not gonna be able to get out there. I really have to talk to yeah. my sister about reading the will before I can leave. Right, okay. Why is she still carrying around a thimbleberry pie? Is that the library? Where the hell have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. She was the one at the bus the station. One. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Hmm. What's his name? What's the bloody lawyer's name? Why is it open on J? Or is that the last one page I was at? I mean, L, the lawyer. There's a lot of people. It says out of order. The sign says it's out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores. If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I would if I knew I his to name. I the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I got things gonna be the other way around. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a, you know what, a game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Hmm. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Then what do you tell uh, people I do Software developers. Instead? We just Untrustworthy tell people you people. went to rehab. It's better for the family name. You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind-corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, I don't make murder simulators. Oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. <laughs> grody this poser. this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One mm. a powerful leader, and the other, well, uh... Spineless. Yeah, were they really brothers? Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. Uh -huh. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he's a bully, he basically. certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. And just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. I think we're done here. Yeah, I've seen Don't that long door conversation. Don't let the you on the way out. No, shut up. Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Ugh, stop bothering Peter. 
Dolores, if you have anything no, she's to not say, let me talk to anybody. you say it to me. Stop bothering Chucky. Right, so we've got to go and find something that helps us work out who the lawyer... Oh, there's another speck of dust. I think probably the best place is Chuck's room. Uh, if I remember right, we can go through here and come out here. Yes. I no! still get lost after all these years. I didn't want you to go in there. It right. feels lonely without Uncle Chuck around. It's a defunct robot prototype. That looks like Uncle Chuck's journal. No, look at. Uh, I've stuck with this journal to keep a record of my progress. Future historians might find it interesting. I feel I'm on the verge of something great. Something greater than making pillows, if that's possible. Yes, just as I had predicted, my Tron tube is amazing. It gives me an idea to explore. Sounds like Trump. My Tron tube is amazing. It's the best. It is literally the best. Yes, this is working out well. Better than I'd hoped. They are just amazing. I just need to make sure the solder connection is good and I'll be able to move to the next phase. I think I've cracked the secret to AI. It's quite complex, but this neutron tube turns it into child's play. The first step is to automate some of the factory machines. This should increase pillow production by 700%. The profits will be endless. I've automated most of the factory machines. Not only has production increased by 704%, I'm saving a lot of money by laying off all the workers. I still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as Q Reyes. <laughs> so the FBI junior agent Reyes is either his brother or his son. I still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as security guard until security robots are functional. New SRO1 security robots are working. I've hidden the program manual in the mansion library. There is one flaw in the design I need to fix. I've added a to do, a to do to the code, to do, do, do the code. This AI is better than I expected. The machines can almost think on their own. The Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead-end technology. <laughs> yeah, right. I could win a Nobel Prize with this, but I need to keep it a secret. It's too profitable to share. Franklin's good with the books, but I wish he'd keep his ideas to himself. I'm increasing the speed of the neural tube network for the Tron AI. It's amazing. Just installed Tron machines in the coroners and sheriff's offices. They have been perfect in identifying petty crimes. This, these will revolutionise law enforcement when perfected. I fired the coroner, but it didn't. But it might look odd if Thimble we didn't have one. So I have a plan. More on that later. The pillar factory and the town's Tron machines are the talk of the country. The rich and famous are flocking here, and I've been neglecting my inventions in favour of too many parties at the mansion. Mansion. Dolores is such a bright girl. I showed her how to solder tubes this afternoon. She took to it like a true Edman. I see bright things in her future. I really need to take a break from socialising and tend to the factory Tron machine. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behaviour from the smarter AI. I need to look into that. I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes may have, must have been mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things up. I've creased the neural tube network yet again. I had an interesting conversation with the main factory AI. It has some interesting ideas. I've become distracted with this text adventure I downloaded from a BBS last night. Got me thinking about AI in games. I have a few ideas I need to explore. Willie is dead to me. I'll make sure I'll make him pay for what he's done. She was my girl, not his. Ooh. Willie's watch business is no more. Willie. Willie's the tramp. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. This text adventure is really interesting. Use my AI, I might be able to simulate a little world in here. I need to get to work. I don't know what happened. One of the AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor two and the pillows went up in a flash. The AI was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. I went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything down. The guard bots thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I need to think. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down. It might be more than valuable. Back at the factory trying to clean up. 
Most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. The good news is the most complex systems were hard at work simulating my text adventure world when, and were unaffected. I'm going to move them into the basement. The main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Mr. Reyes. They have a kid, so Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. It's the last I'll see of them. Until the kid comes back. I need to redouble my efforts on the main Tron machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. The loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under, and thankfully, there are fewer parties. I can finally spend more time working. 1138? 1138? Where do I know that number from? Oh, it's from that stupid space movie Dolores can't stop quoting. I've neglected my journey for a j journal for a while. Dolores is growing up despite having a whip for a father. I'm glad she has taken to electronics computers. She might be the key to the pillow factory's rebirth. I can't believe Franklin wants to make stuffed animals in the pillow factory. What an embarrassment that would be. Plus, I can't have the factory restarted now. It will screw up my research. I'll have to deal with him. He's easily distracted with accounting. I'll have him redo the books. Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She will be overjoyed. Dolores seems to be interested in making games. This is perfect. I need to show her my text adventure, but I don't think it's ready yet. The world simulation is getting good. She is out of my will. Dolores has turned on us. She's taken a job at a game company far from Thimbleweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. Maybe I was a little hasty with Dolores. At least she's making games. There might be hope. The AI says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. I think I discovered something amazing. I need to investigate this further. It can't be true, or can it? A lot of things would make sense if it were. I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. Okay. Uncle Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. It's a spare AT25 Arrestron tube. Very rare, hard to find. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's turned off. Hmm. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. Check out our old bedroom. What's that noise? Red gel decoder. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. I don't want to pick that up. Okay. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. You're a rebel, Billy. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. Mm-hmm. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Hmm. Who is that? Diggin! Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the grand lobby. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Yeah, he's totally fucking fruit noobs.
It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tube. It's a box, but it's sealed shut. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. I can't push that. I can't pull that. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm, funny desk. No drawers at all. I can't open that. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Doug's like a total nutcase. Ooh. It's a strange device with a red button. I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. No, it'll be fine. I really don't think I should use this. So what's the point of picking it up? Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multi-band oscill- I don't have a reason to use Uncle Chuck's oscilloscope. It's a TX1138 tube, in perfect condition. I don't want that. It's Uncle Chuck's old desk. It's turned on. Just down the hall is the big... I wonder if... This is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 Light. I don't need to find any books now. I was hoping his, um... I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. There's nothing inside. 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 There's nothing in there's nothing inside. It's a can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Thanks. I've been collecting dust pixels for years. So 
So how many has she got then? So still needs to collect 60 more. That's a lot of dust pixels. Alright, let's take Reyes to the... The abandoned factory. It's a padlock and chain keeping the gate closed. Um, why was that shaking? I don't know. It's a locked gate. Hmm. It's locked. That's not much bloody help, is it? Right, let's go to him. What does he need to do? Uh, get everyone in town to hate me. He's done that. Look, feed a little beeper. Try removing makeup again. Get oh, he's got his makeup stuck. Get key to factory gate. Why do you collect fifty nine more specks of dust? Plus, P.S. I hate my life and go beat yourself if you found this note and are reading it. No, I don't really wanna. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's a page from my joke book. It's a page from my joke book. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. Got the page stuck back into the joke. Got the page stuck back into. The Got the page stuck back into the. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Lil Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. I hope to get him. It's my it's my next lawyer's business Ooh. card. Brent Bailey. It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. Brent I'm in the Bailiwick. Book. He definitely screwed me. There we go. Brent Bailiwick. That's the guy we need to call. Brant Bailiwick, 4355. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today, prepping for ThimbleCon 87. Try me later. Hmm. That was no help. Have you called the stupid lawyer yet? Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there yes, for was yes, a yes. handout I wish there from was Uncle a yeah. Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. So he was going to ThimbleCon, wasn't he? Hmm. 
Don't know where Thimblecon's being held. Come on, quick, 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 quick. I can't reach that. Just like old times. I can't wait to eat one. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Mm. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. <coughs> this hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Huh? <gasps> I feel better now. So I think we've got to get everyone to, everyone to eat one Street. of those hot dogs. Yes, go down B Street, thank you. Hi, Dolores. Oh, let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Welcome to Ricky's YouTube. How can I help you? Hi, Ricky. It's been a long time. What happened to your bakery? Oh, I had to pivot. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business has really slowed down. I'm not complaining, though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. And I can see how busy you are selling tubes. Oh, Dolores, you always had such a good sense of humor. This is evening. You should see how busy it is in the afternoon. Nice tubes. Uncle Chuck would have been pleased. Oh, yeah, your Uncle Chuck's my hero, and he loved my pies. I have to go now. See you soon. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Key to the factory gate. Nothing beyond. Some people just aren't very nice. Ransom included. There's no path beyond this point. It just mm. looks like unfinished temp art from a cut room. <laughs> Anyway, I've run out of time there. I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you're enjoying that. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you are enjoying that. And hit those notifications so you know when I release a new video. And I, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.